Hi, this is Nicole, the dietitian from Vital Choice, and I want to talk a little bit about bone support. Uh, many people out there are looking for a calcium, or they'll come in asking about calcium, and what they're really asking for is, what do you have to support my bone density and help to increase that? And it goes much further beyond calcium, and that's really important. So I'm going to give you three things to look for when you're looking for a product to support bone health. The first one is milligrams. Pay attention to how much calcium is in each pill. That's important because you don't want to take too much at one time. Anything more than four or 500 in a pill is too much. Your body just can't break it down. It's going to be hard on the stomach, may cause some constipation issues and other things like that. Um, so pay attention to the one a day calciums. Many people want to take a one a day calcium because they just want to get it over with, but that's actually not good to do in a bone formula. The second thing to pay attention to is is the form of calcium. Now this can get pretty detailed, but turn over if, you ha if you're taking a bone formula or taking a calcium, or if you're shopping for one, turn over the label and look where it says calcium. Look what's in parentheses and it'll tell you the form. Carbonate is one of the most commonly used forms because it's cheap and you can get high milligrams, but it's actually one of the worst. In my opinion, it is the worst because it's chalk. Your body just can't absorb that much of it and it can actually be bad for you to take too much calcium carbonate. Um, it also decreases the absorption of other minerals too. So if you can, stay away from a carbonate. The next form is a citrate. This is also a very common form. It's a little bit better than the carbonate, but it's still a rock form. It's still limestone. Our bodies are not meant to get calcium and nutrients from rocks. It's meant to come from foods. So the form I really like is a whole food form of calcium. And typically, companies will get that from a plant source or from algae. Um, so that's a really important thing to look for, a plant source of calcium. Very easy on the stomach. It usually should not constipate, which can be a common side effect from calciums. And it's, it's well used in the body. It's actually doing what you want a calcium to do. So that's the second thing to look for, is the form of calcium. The third is to pay attention to the supportive ingredients. You never want to take calcium by itself. Um, one of the main reasons is calcium alone does not help with bone density. If calcium cured osteoporosis, we wouldn't have it. We'd take a calcium and that would be it. It needs a lot of help. So some, some of the important nutrients to use with it are things like vitamin D and magnesium, which you may or may not already be aware of. And there's other things like silica, um, strontium, and K2. Vitamin K2 is one of my favorite things to have in a bone support formula because it helps tell the calcium where to go. It acts like a little traffic cop and helps put the calcium into the bone away from the kidneys, away from the arteries where calcium can store. So a couple products include all of the things that I mentioned, a whole food form of calcium, all the support with it, and it's broken down into a two or three a day. One of them is Bone Strength by New Chapter. I love this formula. Um, my kind and Vitamin Code also make some great whole food plant so, uh, sourced calciums. So if you can, stop into the store and we can show you the differences with those. And as always, any questions, let us know.